no. We're cutting that straight out. My body is literally begging me to go to sleep right now, I say as I'm staring into a ring light. Am I pre-recording ads? Yes, I am. Is there anything else to do in Kansas? No, no, there is not. So I'm starting on wards in just a couple weeks where I have to smell neutral about six out of seven days a week. By neutral, I mean use your imagination as to what sorts of things will be all over me all day. But believe me you, on my day off, I'm gonna be smelling like, what do we have today? Floral pear, perhaps? or oriental oak moss. These are two scents that Dossier sent me to try out for you guys today. If you're unfamiliar, which you shouldn't be, if you've watched any of my other videos, if you haven't, welcome. What the heck? Glad to have you here. Dossier is a perfume company that makes scents inspired by high-end perfumes, but without the high-end price, we don't want our perfume to be costing $4 million and our left kidney, which they often do, especially if you're a student, especially if you have student loans. These range anywhere from like $29 to $39, where high-end perfumes can be like $380 no. So let's try these out. They come in simple, cute packaging, just like this, with a little card to tell you what to expect. And they also come with a sample. Try this before you try the huge bottle. If you don't like it, you can send it back for free. Floral pear is inspired by Joe Malone's English pear and Frisia cologne. Mmm. This is very clean. I often don't like very floral scents, but this is super clean. Almost has like a linen, like a cotton linen-y, I don't know how to describe it, scent along with the floral, so it's not too overwhelming. It's not too like bright and cheery and my life is perfect. I really like this. This is a very, very clean scent. I would absolutely recommend. I might keep that one. Not that I need 76 perfumes, but sheesh, that smells so good. And then this one is Oriental Oak Moss, which is inspired by Chanel's Coco de Mademoiselle. Okay, this smells like my grandma, but in like a good way. I think this is like a perfume that my mom or my grandma has had before. Very classic. It's not necessarily warm. I know who I'm giving this to. I want to tell you that if you want to get some of this yourself, just either be one of my close friends when I have excess of perfume or, or you can get perfume for yourself at the link below, code 10BONBON at checkout. We'll give you 10% off. If you're a first time buyer, you can combine that with a welcome offer for 20% off. Together, that's 30% off and that goes quite a long ways if your total is only $29. I smell good right now, man. Woo! All right, check it out. On to the video. Hi, I'm back in Kansas. I'm not in Kansas. I'm back in Tennessee, I'm back in Nashville. My apartment's a disaster, but my chair is here. So I'm gonna put that together. Getting my life together before Monday is honestly asking a lot. So we'll see, we'll see. We just finished lecture and we have a big little reveal in like whenever soon. So I'm just setting a retreats. Just heated up the lunch that I didn't have time to finish earlier. It's 5.30. More than half of my lunch is in here. I'm dead. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's cool. Look what happened to me, frisbee. I should have filmed things, but I'm ugly now. I was gonna make a separate video for this, but honestly, it's all coming in the vlog. Just some things that I got, I've gotten in the mail for surgery recently. I got this suture kit. I'm getting a lot of sex. Go away. I got a suture kit. This is from the MedLife, um, which is also another like YouTuber Instagram med med student dude. I also got Maxwell's quick medical reference, which you can see here. 
I haven't even looked at it yet, but it's like, has EKG rhythms, has cardiac arrest stuff in it, delivery stuff, equations. I think this will be helpful and it'll fit in my pocket. It also has an eye chart in the back. For surgery specifically, I have surgical recall. And then I also have Pestania's surgery notes. And then I'm also going to be borrowing De Virgilio's something about surgery from another student. And I'm using UWorld. So those are the resources that I'm using. And then I have a whole box of snacks. I figured with surgery <laughs> that I need to have like easy things on hand. I'm gonna do my best to meal prep. But for the times where like this week, the food I made was just nasty, for the times that I don't have time or the times that I'm stuck in the hospital or the times we don't have time to like microwave our food, I need to have like options. So obviously I have coffee, that's not the point of this. I did order um, greens and reds powder from Buff Chicks. If you guys know about Meg Squats, you know I love her, support her company. These are delicious. I'm not sponsored, but I like them. I just feel like it, it's a good way to get in nutrients, especially if I'm like in a spot where like for a week or so, I'm just like pounding granola bars to keep calories coming in to have some nutrients. Obviously we'll try to do as much like fresh fruits and veggies as I can, but we'll see what happens. Speaking of fruits and veggies, I have some baby food. <laughs> um, all fruits. I didn't get any of the veggie ones, but I had one of these today because I was rushed for lunch and they're really good. So um, they're like 90 calories. So it's really not a lot, but it's more so for just like some sort of nutrient. There's only like one, well, there's three grams of fiber in this one. So you might get, you might get some fiber from these are basically like a little smoothie. It's a little puree. And a lot of them don't have additive so it's just like absorbic acid to keep it to keep it together so would recommend maybe i think they're good so far as a candy to keep myself sugared i guess um obviously some protein bars i got pure protein i was gonna get quest but like budgets and stuff and then some lara bars because i think these ones have like good ingredients in them yeah lara bars aren't the tastiest i don't think but they have good ingredients so i'm just trying to like maximize nutrients here. Some of these um, Kodiak oatmeal power cups for my backpack in case I don't have time to eat breakfast before I leave or if I'm hungry in the morning. I usually don't eat breakfast and I might be able to keep it that way, but we will see how that goes. And then I also have been told to keep some like pre-mixed protein shakes. So I just got these Equate ones. They have 30 grams of protein like in my bag because even sometimes you won't have time to like make it to a water fountain or like keep your drink cold. So anyway, sounds like a lot. I also have some popcorn for like if I'm doing it overnight or if I'm like in the hospital and I do have time to microwave something and I need a snack and I want something warm and crunchy, like popcorn is a good option. So those are my snacks. Those are my resources. I also got, let me show you, some other things. Okay, so the last two things that I am gonna show you for my surgery rotation, I got some compression socks from Figs. They were relatively expensive, like $26 a pair. I don't wanna talk about it. These ones have vegetables on them. I'm excited. Compression socks are like, if I'm gonna be on my feet all day, which it will be, I'm just making sure that I have like good blood flow, that I'm not like having sore achy legs, that my veins are like being able to compress, especially if I'm standing for a really long time. I also got the big cats which are cute. I'll let you know how I like these. This is all unsponsored. None of these companies are contributing to this. And then I also got a Janu scrub cap, which I look ridiculous in, let me show you. Have you ever wanted to see me with no ears? Because you're about to. I look like a swimmer. I can sort of hear myself think in this, but. Is she cute or is she cute? I don't know with my little eye scar. <laughs> ah. This feels like my sitcom chair. This is where I'm gonna sit <laughs> for my like exclusive interview of how things are going. Um, it's Saturday morning. This is my last like free weekend before the awards start. And a lot of people, I think we're pretty excited to like spend time together this weekend. And I'm just feeling like nervous about surgery. So I'm gonna do my best to meal prep today. So like on the agenda today is go to the gym, meal prep. I'm probably gonna log into you world and just like play around or read some things on like transplant surgery in one of the resources that I have just to kind of have an idea of what's going on. There's also a list of topics that we should be like half familiar with when we get there. 
which I'll unlock Anki cards on and maybe read up on. Just because I feel like I'm stressed. I don't know, my eye hurts. I don't know if you can see, there's like two right here and right here. And they're like kind of sore this morning. Oh, I know what I was gonna tell you. I told you in my last video talking about my schedule for M2, what I preference for surgery, but I don't think I've told you what I'm actually on. And so I am on four different services. I start on transplant for two weeks, trauma, emergency general surgery, and then I end on vascular. And then I'll have my shelf. That's my schedule. So I'm gonna read up on transplant today and try to get familiar, I guess. We'll see. Okay, so I'm listening to an ologies podcast today about kissing. Oh my gosh. And the scientists on this, I'll link the podcast below. Um, I love Allie Ward. It's amazing. But the um, scientists said that some of you are probably familiar with this, but like if you like the way a person smells or like in kissing, like the way that they taste, your immune systems are like opposite. And so they're talking about perfumes and like, oh, people thought or people think that the perfumes that they like are blocking their smell so that they can smell delicious and be like compatible with people. But the scientist is suggesting that the perfumes that we like to smell like, so the ones like me opening this dossier box and being like, that's the one I'm gonna wear, is actually like super matched to what I would not like I'm gonna smell like this perfume naturally, but it's like still a reflection of my immune system based on like what scents I like, which is interesting. So I'm just saying if you wanna get some, you know what to do. It's 1.30 and I haven't eaten anything, but I did go grocery shopping. I'll do the, the fastest haul. You, well, I have three bags, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm making, this week I'm making some Korean barbecue ground beef with like green onions and either rice or I got some Thai noodles. And then I'm also making like an Italian salad. It's giving me some caprese vibes, if that's how you say it. Um, I got mozzarella and basil, and then there's like cherry tomatoes, and um, I'm gonna make some like spiral pasta with it and sort of mix all of that together, make sure I get lots of veggies, but also like have a filling meal. Yeah, I'm gonna, oh, my eye is looking rough, man. This is unfortunate for me. Anyway, that's basically the haul, and then I picked up I picked up a lot more baby food. <laughs> I feel like I'm panic buying baby food, but I got some that have veggies in them. So I will let you know how this goes. I bought far too many of them to give up on it because I got to eat them. Um, but I think, again, I said this earlier, but it will be a good way to get some nutrients in when I'm running around all day. Let's go to the gym. Just finished a workout. I caught 135, but I could not stand up and it's about to rain all over me. Oh, yep, here it comes. Okay, bye. I'm just going through my schedule and adding it to my schedule, which is already on my schedule. <laughs> Everything's great, everything's really fine. billion degrees out here. Oh, my car says 104. That's awesome. Um, I just finished at the gym. I didn't record anything because there's a lot of undergrads there. I'm sorry if you go to undergrad at Vanderbilt, but I'm scared of you. Um, I did snatches though. My wrists are feeling a lot better. If you've been following sort of like the lifting journey over the last couple months, I fell on both of my wrists. Like you're like the number one rule of athleticism is don't reach out your hands when you're falling. I did that, but I can snatch now. So I just did like some warm up sets. I did some shoulders. I did some back, and then I did three, three or four by two snatch 
at 85 pounds. My max catch ever is 95. So do be, being able to do multiple sets of 85 by two is like pretty good. So I'm happy with it. Probably my last intense workout until like next weekend because we start surgery this week. So um, I think I'm gonna cut the vlog off here because starting tomorrow it's gonna pick up and I feel like it's more topical for something a little more exciting than this vlog. So stay tuned. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. It's gonna be fine.